hello guys welcome back to another tutorial I'm doing this video and I'll show you how to create a web button using Photoshop I'll be creating more videos based on this on future tutorials if you are interested stay tuned by subscribe and turn notification on my channel let's begin create a photoshop document go to file new adjust your document size i recommend you change the document size like as mine though it is not mandatory then click ok once you have done this unlock the background layer it's locked now double click then ok unlocked now apply gradient overlay go down here click on this FX icon then select gradient overlay set the angle 35 degree and scale size 105 style radial then click on gradient click on left side color stop then color set the color dark gray apply the code for exact color code will be on description click ok click on the right side color stop then color then select light gray code for this color will also be given on the description then click ok ok then ok after that select rounded rectangle tool go to photoshop shapes select rounded rectangle tool make sure pixel radius is 5 now draw your shape now apply gr gradient overlay select rounded rectangle layer then click on this fx icon then select gradient overlay now click on this gradient then left side color stop then color and set the color dark blue then click ok then change the right side color to light blue then click ok then ok then apply stroke and change the color to dark blue click on ok set stroke size 2 now set inner glow decrease opacity to 30% change the color to white then click ok Co click ok at this point create a new layer go down here and click on this icon new layer created now select the new layer press control on keyboard then click on main shape of thumbnail to select this shape now select paint bucket tool and change the foreground color to black and paint inside of the shape now I'll add some noise go to filter noise add noise and set amount to 33 percent and make sure monochromatic is on then click OK now press ctrl and D to deselect now decrease the layer opacity to 15% repeat this process but instead this time set the color to white rather than black create new layer press ctrl on keyboard then click on main shape of the thumbnail then select the shape now change the foreground color to white 
and paint it inside the white. Now go to filter, noise, add noise, and then click OK. Now press Ctrl and D to deselect. Now select rectangular marquee tool. Then apply to the bottom half as you can see mine. Press delete button on keyboard. Decrease the layer opacity to 10% this time. Then press Ctrl and D for deselect. Now select text tool and type the text. Select move tool and place the text on a suitable position. Now duplicate the text layer. Press Ctrl and J on keyboard to duplicate the layer. Select main text layer and apply color overlay. Go down here, click on this FX icon and select color overlay and change the color to dark blue then click OK then OK now select copy text layer and press on keyboard up arrow once and left arrow once it will apply little bit drop shadow on the text now create a group. Go bottom there and click on this icon and create a group. Now change the blend mode to color dodge. Then press Ctrl and click on main shape of the layer to make selection of its pixels. Now add a layer mask. Go down here and click on this icon and create a layer mask, the layer mask created. Now create a new layer within the group. Click on this icon and create the new layer. Now select brush tool. Select a soft edge brush. Make sure foreground color is white and opacity to 100%. Now paint with like this you can decrease the layer opacity if you want this is the end of the tutorial thank you for watching and please like comment and share the video see you next time